everybody, I'm Stacy with Stacy's Organizing and Decorating for Life. I'm here to help you organize your thoughts and decorate your perspectives. I hope that I'm a good tripod too because I'm holding this and I'm hoping that I'm staying balanced. Thank God I don't drink anymore. So um, today our topic is going to be on dignity. If you like that that's our topic today, please hit the like and subscribe button below. You know, I do believe in the three, the rule of threes. And so I have been hearing the word dignity in so many different realms. I've heard the word indignity of how I can offer somebody dignity who maybe is not respecting themselves. I've heard, you know, in the realm of somebody expressing how they feel so shame-filled and explain to them that on the other side of shame, the opposite of shame is dignity. And then, you know, I myself have worked with dignity, too. Although, oftentimes, we don't even remember or realize that word, what it really does mean. People talk about shame and dignity, and it's just an off-the-cuff statement, oftentimes, or something that we wrote the definition down in elementary school, and we really are just going off of that, and we really haven't examined what dignity is. So, again, I hope you'll like and subscribe to this video. But before we get started, I have to remind you that I'm not a doctor, psychologist, psychiatrist, any of those things, not a scientist, but we all know I love those things. What I am is a life coach, and I have a web page called stacyforlife.com. There are four. Again, I'm on my own tripod. And on this web page, I write a monthly blog, but also there is a description of the services that I provide as a life coach dealing with addiction, codependency, and grief, but not exclusively to those things. Because underneath those things lies a desire for healing and healthy relationships, as well as development of spiritual and soul consciousness. It's about feeling comfortable in your own skin by going within, not esteeming ourselves from the outside. So we're going to talk about esteem here in just a minute, but if you... You know, if you're, you or anyone you know need help and need a life coach or what have you, please look me up again. That's stacyforlife.com. So I posted a quote on Facebook today for Topic Tuesday, and I wanted to reread that for you because today's topic goes here. So in the quote that I posted, it says, I posted another quote, and that always messes things up. Sorry. So, let's do this. Okay, so it says, The word dignity has been coming up a lot lately. Oh, that's what I wrote. That's not the quote. Okay, it says, Self-respect is the root of discipline. The sense of dignity grows, grows is a key word here, with the ability to say no to oneself. And this quote is by Abraham Joshua Heschel. Self-respect is the root of discipline. The sense of dignity grows with the ability to say no to oneself. See, when we look at this and we talk about respect and self-respect, you know, what happened, what, what's what been happening is with one instance of where dignity came up is a friend of mine maybe wasn't treating herself with much respect. And so what can I do that's a dignified way of helping her yet being compassionate and not codependent and, you know, having dignity for all. So that was something that I pondered. That's the first instance where dignity came up. And then another instance came up where I was talking with someone about shame. And they were expressing the shame that they felt, you know, whether it was earned or not. Because a lot of shame was put upon us, you know. And that was the third instance of talking about dignity. Is that, you know this person was talking about shame and I said well what is the opposite of shame because if you can feel shame you can feel the opposite this is why I love the polarities so much and so the opposite of shame is indeed dignity so then the next person I, I was talking to along the same lines is I told her I said the thing is is that I believe that people are born with dignity it's something like that has to be matured and grown into as the state as the quote was saying is that you know people earn respect but dignity is something that is about growth you know and we grow into dignity once we earn respect and we have respect through for ourselves and oftentimes that respect for ourselves comes through saying no you know no and staying true to ourself that's where you know self-respect comes from self-esteem comes from failing oftentimes so all of us 
feel shame when we fail, or most of us, a lot of us feel shame when we fail. So shame is something that we all feel, but on the other side of that is dignity, and many of us feel dignity too. So it's about a person, how's a person going to get to dignity if they feel shame, and it sometimes takes another person to help them. This is where the humane humanity comes in with that, because I'm going to read you a few things. So it, I looked up the definitions, because like I said, oftentimes we don't really research what the word dignity is. So I looked up the definitions for dignity in Cambridge and Webster. I like the one in Webster better. The Cambridge definition says, and this is where people buy into this, because I've done videos about where people treat adults like children, and this is where it comes from, is when they're not treating them with respect or dignity, they oftentimes treat them like children when they've done something shameful. But you don't have to do that. If you know how to say no to yourself and not offer up to be a hero or try to help and that you, ha you are not enabling and you're setting good boundaries, good loving boundaries, then you have dignity and you're also allowing that other person dignity too. But in the dictionary, it does say in the Cambridge version, human dignity is, is specific to the way we esteem ourselves. We esteem people. Human dignity is specific to the way we esteem people. Okay, so then we look at, it says the importance and value that a person has that, take, that makes other people respect them or respect themselves. See, sometimes we have to show people dignity for them to be able to see what dignity looks like and to learn that. And then hopefully they can learn to respect themselves and gain dignity themselves. I know for me, I had to have people show me the way. And they didn't do it by treating me like a child and punishing me. The Webster Dictionary says the it's a formal reserve or seriousness of manner, appearance, or language. So in recovery, we have a saying, if you spot it, you got it. You know, and so we treat people accordingly. Oftentimes we learn in recovery that often the things that were done to us or we've done to other people as well. So when we realize through our humanity that we're all fallible and that we all fail at sometimes, and that's how we've gained esteem. In humanity, I believe that it's our goal to teach other people how not to fail and to gain esteem. It doesn't help people for you to punish them or look down on them. You know, there's a saying, never look down on somebody unless you're helping them up. And I think that's a wonderful saying. So if we have dignity within ourselves, I believe we can share it with somebody else regardless of whether they respect themselves or not. And by saying no to ourselves, we allow ourselves to have healthy boundaries, you know, with people and to be able to not make up stories about why we can't enable them or help them. You know, but to say, you know, I just don't think I'm going to be able to do that today. Or this is what I'm going to do. But in codependency, a lot of times people feel like they have to do these long, drawn-out explanations to justify themselves because we rationalize and justify a lot of our thoughts and ideas. So, yes, respect does have to be earned, but we can still give people dignity even if we, if they are not respecting themselves and maybe we are having a lack of respect for the way that they're disrespecting themselves. You see? Because that's, that's not about judgment. We don't say, oh, they're just disrespectful and throw our hands up and say, I don't know why they act that way because it doesn't help for us to do that. That's, we're still not going to know why they act that way and it doesn't express dignity or esteem for ourselves when we do that. So, I uh, hope hope that this video has been helpful for you. My arm is getting tired of being this tripod. I'm so grateful that I get to come to you each week, and I hope that these little tidbits that I give you are helpful. And if you, if they are, please hit the like button below. And uh, I want to thank you for continuing to follow me each week. Again, your time is valuable to me. And remember, you are a person of value, and it's good to value other people. Because we're all in this together at this time when so many people are struggling. Again, I always offer 30 minutes of my time for somebody, you know, without charge if they just need help getting their organized, their thoughts organized and their, you know, perspectives decorated just for the moment. I can't fix your life in 30 minutes. I'm not even claiming I, I can fix your life anyway. That you have to do that. But I can offer you different thoughts and perspectives if you're really struggling because I do really do want us all to make it. So. Again, you can find me at stacyreinick at gmail.com if you want to email me, or you can find me on Facebook, 
as Stacy Renee or Stacy's Organizing and Decorating for Life. Or you can find me on Instagram at Stacy Renee 8, Twitter Stacy Renee. You know, just I look forward to you reaching out in any kind of way. And again, every Wednesday I post these videos and I hope that they are insightful and helpful and trying to raise the vibe of this universe. You know, we have to be the change that we want to see. So I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to show y'all lots of respect and dignity. So I wish you much peace. I have to only give you love with one arm, but both of them are really thinking about you. And I look forward to connecting with you again next week. Thank you so much for your time. Bye.